I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. Alex and I are tackling an island cottage renovation. The goal is to have this done in about six weeks. We're replacing rotten windows. Look at this, dry rot. A rotten roof and doing some redecorating while we're at it. Have a nice day! And while Alex is stuck on the island, are you ever coming home? I'm in the city, so it's time to dream up some new design directions. We have chaos currently happening on the island. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make myself feel so much better about the challenges we've been having lately by shopping for pretty things, shopping for fabric. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, what will? I'm okay with like blue, but I don't know about browns on an island. Oh, this one's nice, look at this, isn't that pretty? Now, if you wanna make a statement that I love that. Why did a bell just sound? This is when my kids laugh at me and think I'm a technological dingbat. Try again. This is nice. I like this. And now you know what's happening? We're in the middle of a designer shoe change. I started in these, and now I'm going consignment shopping, so I'm putting on my speed shoes. Oh, that's better. I've gotten rid of a lot of old furniture with the goal of making things a bit more contemporary. But before I go and order all new stuff, I kind of wanted to see if there was any good vintage stuff that I would prefer. It had great character. Karel, I have a piece of advice for you. You have these awesome swivel chairs with the world's ugliest cushions on them. If you take the cushions off, they might actually sell. I bought these exact same chairs and then I painted them they look pretty great. Will you take one of those cushions off me, actually, because I want to see them, but that fabric grosses me out so much, I can't touch it. You would not go picking with me. I would go picking. I wouldn't necessarily go touching. There's a difference between picking and touching. Like, this is, I'll touch this. I will not touch that. There, that has lived too many lives. See, less is more. A makeover. You could make your very own photo booth. This is super fun. All these things that you don't know you need. Oh yeah. What do you think, do I do it? I haven't been on a pair of roller skates probably since 1978. Oh yeah, whoo! <laughs> There's a way to shop. This could make life so much faster. Hi, Hi. I just found some roller skates. This is fun. Woo, I don't know how to turn. Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Whee! Cute desk. These things are wickedly crooked. Oh, those are cute side tables. Might have to come back for a better look. When you buy a vintage piece, there are certain things you can do to it. You can refinish it. You can repaint it. You can change the hardware on it. But what you can't change is the lines. So inherently, you have to like the shape. You have to like the proportions. And then you have to just be able to imagine it in a different color or want to use it exactly as is. So I don't really like these little rosettes, but these could just be popped off. The hardware, super easy to change. The price point, $375 for a pair of night tables. The price is right. Because here's the thing. Like everybody, I'm on a budget. It's not, this is not a money is no object project, especially now that we have a rotten roof and we have to rebuild. That decorating budget just disappeared. Storage is always a key, right? So I want your opinion. What do you think? Would you paint this? This would definitely look better if painted. $420. A lot of storage for $420. I just like it because it's more contemporary. It's low, has a nice elevated leg. It's clean and it has nine drawers. 
which would mean six for me and three for him. Right? Isn't that the way it always works? I'd get six, he'd get three. There's so much more stuff. Bathing suits, cover-ups. How about this one? I think this is actually a bar. Look at this. This is more of a sideboard piece. This hardware is kind of amazing. Check out this hardware. This would need to be refinished. So by the time Gregory, my refinisher, was done, it might cost a bit. So the last reduced price on this was a year ago. It was $337. I seem to always find all the pieces that nobody else wanted. Okay, so if you had your choice and you had to pick between the first dresser and the second dresser, which one would you pick? This is part of You Choose Your Own Design Adventure on my Design Life series. I'm curious to know. Do you have the answer? Because I don't have the answer yet. This is a good coffee table. This is a good, rustic, put your feet up coffee table. If it's a super steel, it's easy. So this is a nice piece, but I think I need to think about it. It's also really big, and if you're gonna buy a 60 inch table, you need to know that you've got just the right place for it. I'm gonna sleep on it, because at this point, it is after six o'clock. So nobody's gonna buy it tonight, I don't think. I can think about it till the morning.